So we're talking about the Mako. Mako is a uh, innovation and it's an advancement over surgeries that we do all the time right now. Um, so we already know how this thing works. This is like making it more precise and better. It starts with osteoarthritis. When you have osteoarthritis of the knee, the cartilage of the joint starts to break down. And when that happens, the buffer or the cushion between the two bones um, starts to basically thin, thin down and you get increased pressure. Uh, or as we like to say, when you get to bone on bone, the knee starts to hurt all the time. Uh, nearly half of all people, if you live long enough, are gonna develop osteoarthritis in either their hip or knee uh, during their lifetime. The depiction in these pictures is the progression. So the white, and pink, the white is the cartilage, the pink is the bone. And you can see as time goes on, it wears away, um, and then the bone, pink bone shows, and that's your arthritis. Moderate is when it becomes uh, directly due down to bone. So moderate is when we're talking a lot about the Mako. And when you see moderate, try to think one compartment as opposed to uh, severe, which is all the compartments. So the compartments of the knee are the medial, there's three of them, medial, lateral, and patellofemoral. So moderate disease would be more, you got one compartment that's bad. And then it's easier to deal with than having the whole knee go bad. So macoplasty. This is a new treatment for the early to mid-stage osteoarthritis, and we're going to share a lot of information with you about this tonight, and we're very excited to be able to offer this technology to you. This is a much less invasive procedure than total knee. It's not entirely minimally invasive like arthroscopy. We still need to make an incision, but it's a much smaller incision than you need for a total knee replacement. And we have better tools now, so we can do a much better job of putting that implant in an absolutely perfect position. Prior to the surgery, on the computer, your position in the implant, so we know that every position of your knee, whether it's you know straight, bent, mid flexion, whatever it's going to be, so your climbing stairs, we're going to know where that implant is going to be contacting. and we can optimize its ability to contact to give you the best outcome. In the operating room, this is what we're looking at: an actual computer screen, again, just like GPS. As we're doing the operation, we're watching this screen, so we can tell exactly where the cuts are being made, what are the implants looking, how is the knee reacting to what we're doing. It's all done in real time. So this arm here uh, is a robotic arm, and on the end of it is a, a little uh, pencil tip burr. And the burr is the instrument that we use to make our uh, cuts. So we're just kind of burring away the bone as we go along, versus traditionally we use saws. And the saw is gonna take a lot more bone. So with the Mako system, these, these implants are actually curved, kind of like our bone is. So instead of making straight cuts with a saw, we can make curved cuts and that saves bone. The idea with this is it's very difficult for surgeons to reproduce the normal function and the smooth contours of motion of the knee. With knee replacements, we try to do that, and at the same time, we're also trying to correct deformities. What this allows us to do is to put the implants very precisely in the part that's damaged while also not disrupting the normal motion or kinematics of the knee. And that's one of the biggest advantages of this, which I think was going to allow it to have higher performance over the long term. The main thing is we don't have to take the uh, ligaments that we do in a total knee. So when you do a total knee replacement, you, you generally take one for sure, possibly two of the ligaments that stabilize our knee. And that's why a, a total knee is going to feel a little bit different than your normal knee. But in a partial, we leave all the ligaments intact. So again, it's a part of how this is minimally invasive. We don't touch any of the ligaments. And when you have the implants in, it feels much more like a normal knee. The way I look at this kind of a procedure is it's a good bridge kind of an operation. Uh, before we really had a good um, choice for partial knee replacements, you kind of had arthroscopy and then total. And there's a huge gap in between, like Dr. Tamarim was talking about. Uh, we'd be able to bridge that gap by offering this uh, system. This is the only combination of technologies that gives us the tools with which we can perhaps achieve that goal, which is, if you will, rewind the clock a bit and give you a knee that feels like it used to feel. So anyone with mid, early to mid arthritis, generally speaking, because arthritis is a progressive disease, it tends to be younger people, it tends to be younger people. But there are definitely some elderly folks that come along and uh, they only have arthritis in one or two compartments in the knee. And if that's the case, then absolutely, you'd be a candidate for macoplasty as well. We do what we do because we want you to get back to your activities. We want you to enjoy your lives. 
and uh, doing a partial knee replacement of the macoplasty, I think, uh, gets you there uh, better.